There were a ton of product updates at Inbound this year. One may have slipped on by that you might not have seen. This is very significant, so listen in. You now can store up to one million contacts for free inside your HubSpot account. What does that mean? Well, there have been some significant changes to the marketing hub pricing. And I'll use us as an example of how much this is helping. So we first became HubSpot CRM customers and then we became Marketing Hub customers. By the time we became Marketing Hub customers, we had 15,000 contacts. That affected our Marketing Hub bill. However, we weren't marketing to 15,000 contacts. We were, we were only marketing to between one and 2,000 contacts, but paying for the 15,000. As of today, we only pay for the 2,000. So what you can do is you can tag contacts up as marketing or non-marketing contacts. HubSpot, thank you so much for this. It's gonna make a significant difference to us and many HubSpot customers and future HubSpot customers. In this video, we're gonna show you how you tag up non-marketing and marketing customers. We hope this helps. If you're a HubSpot marketing customer, the first thing to do is to message your customer success manager and ask to be put onto marketing contacts. Once you've messaged your customer success manager, they may well ask you for a phone call just to ensure that the new model is going to save you money. Your customer success manager will then send you over a bespoke link. What's great is HubSpot pick up on all your unengaged contacts, so that's bounce contacts, unsubscribed contacts, and removes them from your marketing contacts list. Prior to visiting this link, you need to go into your HubSpot account and create a list of all the contacts you do not want to market to. So we named this list non-marketing contacts. Once this is done, you hit update contacts and all those contacts will be assigned with the property as non-marketing contacts. Once this is done, you can see what it looks like as a property. Just type in marketing contact and you'll see the field which is called marketing contact status. From this point onwards, your marketing hub bill will be based on marketing contacts and not the total number of contacts that are in your account. Now you've saved some money, you can venture into the HubSpot app marketplace and see how a couple of very useful apps can help your HubSpot account. If you have any questions on getting set up on marketing contacts, then please don't hesitate to drop a message in the comments. We're always happy to help out fellow HubSpot customers.